Ladies and gentlemen, composer Walter Arlen. Enough. I take my hat off to you. I heard you sing from the outside and sounded wonderful. Thank you. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep rehearsing like we yes, were, and yes. when you have anything to say, um, well, I'll say I'll, it. Yeah, I, I, good, <laughs> good, good, love that. And I've often thought, what would have happened if I had gone back to Vienna at that point? Because the department store was there, and I could have walked in and take it over. Im Geschäft waren alle sehr nett und scheißfreundlich, wenn ich so sagen darf. Aber wie sie es gezeigt hat, über Nacht war das halbe Geschäft antisemitisch. He's never gotten over anything. So I learned his story immediately about, upon meeting him, but it was never important to me. Uh, what was important was his music. That was how I met him. Die Musik, die Walter Allen geschrieben hat, war eigentlich Therapie für sich selbst. Wie ich angefangen habe, habe ich irgendwie auf einmal äh, fünf Lieder in sechs Tagen geschrieben, obwohl ich schon 30 Jahren keine Musik geschrieben habe. He composed music that only an Austrian composer of his generation in America could have composed. He asked me if uh, I would like to go to concerts because he was a critic, had to write, go to concerts and write reviews, and very often he went by himself. It was the beginning of a career which lasted 30, 40 years. I'm not interested in whom I know, I'm interested in who knows me. <laughs> the Stravinsky and me gigant. Oh, where's the bistec? I have it in my hand. Oh. It's a fork, that's it. Good. Let, let's go to the worst. What is that? It's cranberry sauce. No, it's not Preiselbeeren, Howard. Not cranberry sauce. 